Okay, so in this video, we'll be creating a coffin. So we'll create this, I'll show you how to create this uh, coffin uh, with the lid and the interior of the coffin. Uh, nothing too complicated. Um, so let's jump straight in. So let's get started. So I'm not going to save this new general, don't say boom. A new scene and we're going to create this coffin from this default QP. So I'm going to delete this camera and spot mark this on um, somewhere. We don't need them. And we just need the default key. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit mode. We're going to select our move tool and the face selection. So we want this face here. We're going to pull this out. Not too, it's entirely up to you the length of your coffin and far you want to do it. Then we're going to select this face at the top and we're going to extrude out. So we use the extrude region. We're going to extrude out from there. And you can see that I've kept this kind of shorter than this end because this is the top half of the coffin. Okay, so I'm going to select the two edges. So I'm going to select my edge mode and I want to use my move tool. Select this side and this side. So I've got both sides of the coffin uh, and then I'll switch to scale and pull this out. I want to do the X axis. You can see, scale it out and now we have a coffin shape. Next, we want to use my move tool again. Go back to faces. I'm going to select these two faces at the top, at the top of the coffin. And what I'm going to do is right click and I want to say separate selection. So now if I go back to object mode, I have two pieces, as you can see, we have two pieces, cube and cube 01. On cube 01, I'm going to rename it to lid. This will be the lid. This is the base. I'll just call this base. Okay. So now what I can do is so object, click on the lid object, set origin to surface and mass, and that's in the center of that. I can move this lid to the side. And what I want to do is select the base. I want to shift the right click. Now I've got base one. And this will be the inside. So it can be, you know, in our inner cloth. This will be our inner cloth. So I'll just call this inner. You can name this whatever you want. Now I'm going to go to the modifiers. So we're going to add a modifier and then displace. We're going to change our strength to minus 0 0.01. So now it's just inside, the, it's slightly smaller than the actual base. And then I'll apply this modifier. So I'll just click on the little drop down and or control A to shortcut to apply a modifier. Anyway, once we've got that, we want to go back into edit mode. Like so we're going to press A to select all the faces. And then what we're going to do is right click, subdivide once. Now, you can see it's pretty, it's split pretty even, the faces, you know, they're pretty, you know, they're not too far apart, they're slightly bigger, but this here is too big. So what we need to do is introduce some root cuts ourselves, so we just need to subdivide it here, root cut, place a cut here, and root cut here. And maybe, maybe a few extra ones here, that looks a bit more even across the, you know, maybe one here, and one here, there we go. So now it just looks a bit more even when we start subdividing. When we, if so if we select the faces, I press A, right click, subdivide, now it does look more even. I mean the, the bottom, we don't need to worry too much, but okay. subdivide, and maybe one more. There we go. So it's pretty dense, you know? there we go. Next, what I want to do, so sorry, I accidentally edit, so I'll go back to object mode. Um, but I want to go back into edit mode, my, my fault. I want to create a vertex group. So, I want this pin where the cloth will add, you know, where, where the, the pin selection is for the cloth. So, I selected this top group. So, the way I do it is I select the first face, then I hold Alt, and I click the second face right beside it. And I'll select that loop selection. Then we're going to go here to this little triangle property. So we need the data properties. And we're going to go to vertex groups. So I'm going to press plus. Now you can rename this group to whatever you want. So it can be coffin 
config pin so you know what that is and then you assign that selection to the coffee or to your whatever you name your you know, vertex pool. Now I want to select the inside so I want the corners and the the inner the, all the corners basically of the coffee. I'm gonna do alt and select that and then I hold alt and shift select this like so as you can see I've got those two corners and I'll try to do the same with this one. There we go. I'm holding Alt and Shift at the same time. And I'll do the same here. Oh. Oh. That way. Though if it doesn't select the corners you want, what you can do is just assign that. And what you can do is just click on click off and then there we go. Select it like this and then assign. And then Alt select this so that we get the selection we want. Okay, I might have already got this, but I'll just reassign it just in case. Okay, so now if I deselect that, I click off and then I say click on my coffin, I can say select. Now I can see all the pins that are selected and you can see all these these are the sections that I've got pinned down um, I haven't got this selection here so luckily I did do it and I can click on here yeah. now I say assign selection okay. now if I click off and say select you can see uh, those are all selected so we're pretty much ready now to simulate the cloth. So we're gonna go back to object mode. We're gonna go here to our modifiers. I'm gonna add cloth modifier. And we're gonna go here into the properties. Into our physics pro physics properties. Cloth. We're gonna change this to silk. So I just click the little tab to say silk. And we're gonna scroll down. And we want to turn on pressure and set this to uh, minus three because we want the cloth going inwards rather than outwards, expanded outwards. Um, we want to change the. We want to assign the uh, shape. So we're going to go shape here. We're going to change, say, coffin pin. So this is our vertex one. Vertex uh, pins are selection. And then we want to go to shrinking uh, factor. We want to set this to minus zero point. Now, if I hit play, you can see what it does. And it looks pretty nice. Got all these nice wrinkles, and it looks nice and comfy. You can right click this now, shade smooth. And if you're happy with that, you can leave it as it is, as it is or you can go to modifiers. You can apply a subdivision after it and you can smooth that out more. Um, if you do want to simulate and you want more wrinkles and more detail you can move the subdivision above the cloth and if I hit play it may slow down because I've got a lot more subdivisions but you can see I get a lot more wrinkles and detail as well. So it's entirely up to you and um, depending on the cloth drops in your machine. Uh, I'm going to just pause this. But you can see how much more detail you get with the wrinkles. Up to you. I'm going to move it back down. I don't need that many. I'll smooth it out with some divisions after the simulation. Right, so I'm now happy with that look there. So once you're happy with that, I'm just going to apply the modifier. So I'll apply the cloth modifier first, then the subdivision. There we go. Now that's pretty much done. We've created the inside. Now we want to yeah, model the outside. So we're going to go select the outer base. Of this model, we're going to go to object mode, edit modes. We're going to select faces. We're going to press A for selectable. Then we're going to select extrude. We're going to hold down on the mouse on the left key on the mouse button, and we're going to go extrude along the walls. Further drag now outwards, extrude out. Now we add some thickness to our uh, model. Okay, now I can get object mode. Of course you could have applied a solidify, probably if so if I'm doing this, another way of doing it. There's many ways of doing it. So if you don't want to model it, I mean you can just go um, 
add the modifier, solidify the same way, and then just do the fitness and then just try again. It's exactly the same. It's entirely up to you if you choose to model it or, or use the modifiers. It's the same, you get the same result. Um, and we can, uh, of course, apply a bevel to this as well. Uh, you know, uh, another modifier, and we can, you know, smooth these edges out. Do some more results, you know, can change. So it's not a sharp itch, so it's slightly beveled. Okay, now the lid. Let's move on to the lid. Select the lid. I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to select the two top faces. Boom, boom. And then I'm going to choose insert face. And I'm going to drag in. I get a nice little frame, as you can see. And what I'll do is extrude upwards. So I'm going to see extrude region. Drag this up. And what I'm going to do is press S. So I'm going to just move to, I'll move to just other. And then hit S. Scale inwards. Okay. Now I can like shift this around a little bit if you want. It's entirely up to you. There's no, you know, there's no rules how you model your lid. Um, what I want to do is select edges, select the outer edge of the lid. So you can see I've selected the outer one. So I click the first edge, I hold Alt, select the, the next one, and it, you know, you get the whole selection. And what we want to do is extrude down. So, oops, extrude, extrude down, there we go, there we go, sure you don't go like off axis, but well, there we go, done it a few times, there we go, now we've extruded down, with it selected, oh, that's not the best way to do it, probably, so actually the easiest way to control it is if I use my move tool, I'm just using my move tool, I'm going to press E, right click, then I'll go down. Now I'm going to do it straight. I'm going to hit F to fill that hole. Now we have a solid lid. Now if I hit exit the edit mode, so I'll go back to object mode, you can see it's now solid. Um, and I can place this above and move this up. So now you can scale this up because the this is scaled outwards, so maybe you want to scale this out too. Entirely up to you, or you want it in, to sit inside something like this. Entirely up to you how you design that um, coffin. And of course, you can add the bevel modifier again to this and just round out those edges a little bit. What I'd say is actually press Ctrl A, so select the object, Ctrl A, file transformations, so just some things. And go object, set origin to surface of mass. Click to origin of surface of mass, and then that puts in the center. Um, can't really see the bevel doing much, but I'll set it to something like 3. There we go, we have a coffin. So let's add the ground plane. So mesh, add a plane, scale this up, and move this down. Now it's all about just adding some materials. So I've slightly gone over the 10 minutes, but, but yeah, it's not too bad. 14 minutes, bad. And I'm going to click on the materials, little material tab over here. All I'm, do is, I'm just going to remove this material, this material. Make a new one. I'll call this. You can name whatever your materials. Uh, glossy black. You know, this is going to be the glossy black. Um, and then we'll just make this black. Make sure I can see my preview material. What the preview my materials are like. Um, and then I'll assign the same material. So glossy black. And it doesn't look glossy. So go here. Check your roughness. It starts to look a bit more glossy. And of course, you can uh, tell it entirely up to you what you're playing with the settings. Now, the inside of the coffin, I want to assign, you know, a cloth material or some kind of material, so I'm going to say me. I'm going to make it purple. And I'm going to make it slightly, slightly shiny, slightly metallic. 
bit a bit slack silk you know nice and soft there we go also we can do choose this and we can go to our EV settings you know if you like apply ambient occlusion if I bump up this to something like 12 you get all this nice you know bark areas and it just makes it look more nice. you can also turn on screen space reflections um hey just uncheck half trace okay the floor so the floor i can rename this play to floor and for me it's up to you how much you know we can go do the lighting the enemy we can you can add more detail uh Tally up to you. Material and I'll just change the color. Add okay. lights, shadows, and all sorts. But yeah, hopefully this was useful. I'll just do a vertical split here. Add the camera to my scene. To the camera. I'm just gonna press. Um, actually, if you don't have that, so what I'll do is. Some people don't have the shortcuts, so I'll just hit zero for the camera. Now we're in the camera, and I'll go back to view. And then I'll go camera, and I want to set cameras active. Oh, sorry, the frame, the bounds, like this. So. And then I want to go here, press N. I want to go to view, and I want to say camera to view. Make sure I'll check this. Now I press N. All I can do is just move this out. So. And I'm in the camera. I want it to look. Okay. I'll just uncheck these gizmos and stuff. So now I have a nice clean render, like a clean viewport. And also move this off like this. For my camera, I can go to my options. So viewport display. I like to put the passport out. So now I can just see what this looks like and work here. You know, so I've got nice. Get an idea of what it looks like. So I'm gonna add a light. You know, I can just experiment and light this how I want. So if I said, oh, no, 2500, so I'm gonna take this light. Tidy up to you how you how you like this scene. But yeah, which is color to your light. It's up to you. Anyway, hopefully this is useful, just how to model a simple coffee, nothing too complicated, you know, if you want you can go and do this uh, in the inside of the lid as well, if you wanted to add some cloth on there, and then make a pillow, you can try to do that, add some handles, you know, all sorts of detail on there, you can go further and tell you know, what you have. I'm just going to quickly go to the shading on this. Get noise, extra, I'm feed that into my roughness. I'll do uh, mapping, so. Bing. Again, mapping. Also, it'd be UV. UV mapping to texture coordinates. And I just want that to be object instead. I can see all this. Nice and detail. It's entirely up to you how much you do. Um, can even use color um, it. But you know, you can just keep on adding to this. Now, just kind of going over the on toy movement and uh, set myself. But you, you get the idea. Play um, around with this and you can keep on adding and adding and adding to it. Putting detail in there, you know, all sorts. But Hopefully this was useful. Enjoy your day, morning, evening, and night. Thank you again. Bye bye.